Hey everyone, this is Michael with Call to Mac here, and today we're looking at iTunes 11, the newest version of iTunes that just came out today. And this is what Apple's done in the last couple of years with iTunes. So I launched it up for the first time here, and all I have to do is agree. It kind of shows you what's going on here. So I can hit agree, and now we're in iTunes. So this is our main uh, music view here. And of course, I can choose uh, what I want to look at by selecting something on the sidebar here. So if, for example, I go to podcasts, now I can see all my podcasts just like this. Uh, I can look at my apps. I can go to TV shows. I don't have any TV shows. Everything that used to be in the sidebar is now accessible through this little menu right here. So it kind of cleans up the interface, takes everything away from that big list. Of course, you can also sort your music or videos by different categories, so I can look at songs here and see an alphabetical listing of songs or I can look at the album view artists and you can see that for every view you get a different interface that kinda corresponds with what you're looking at so when I'm in album view here if I click on an album you can see that it drops down like this kind of like a folder on iOS and it shows you all the songs in the album here I have a little arrow that shows me some options so I can add this so that it'll play up next after the current song I can make some genius playlists with it and I can show this in the iTunes star as well. And of course, if I start playing the song, it'll play just like it does on the old iTunes with this little LCD thing up here, but now it's kind of a, a gray window. Now, when this is playing, what I can do is I can switch to this mini player here, and it popped over onto my other screen. And the mini player here shows you, you know, your track title and info, is, and when you roll over the window, you can play the song or skip ahead to the next song and access your airplay settings. And then clicking that little tiny square right there will bring it back up to full size. Now if we go into the iTunes store, we can see that it now looks almost identical to what it looks like on iOS. You have this kind of rotating carousel up here and you have these albums like this presented in a sliding panel. And this carries across the store. So if I go to music here, you can see that I have the same type of interface up at the top and these sliding panels here with all these different albums and songs in them. So overall this is a lot faster and a lot more simple than iTunes 10 and uh, I think it looks really great and they've made a lot of UI enhancements to it that really kind of bring it up to par with what we've been seeing on iOS recently. So there's just a quick look at iTunes 11. If you have anything else you'd like me to do a video on make sure to send me an email. This is Michael from Cultimac and thank you for watching.